G'day, John for the hot end. Today we're going to do the full review of the Fogatec FT5. This is the Fogatec FT5 large format U-Butte fantastic printer. Anthony and I have been using one of these printers now for a few months. He has one and so do I. Uh, and we've managed to really get to know these printers very, very well. A few of the basic specifications on this, it has a 12 inch by 12 inch by 15 and 3 quarter inch build volume. Uh, it's got a 360 watt 12 volt system CE rated power supply. Uh, it's switchable between 110 and 220 volts, so it can use worldwide. It's got a maximum extruded temperature of 245, uh, and that's due to the workings of the extruder. You can go higher, but you could do damage. It has a heated bed, which goes to 100 degrees C, which we'll talk about shortly. It's an XY linear rail system. So it runs, the X and Y axis run on rails with a bearing carriage. Uh, it runs two ZT28 four start lead screws on your Z axis. It runs an MKS Gen 1.4 controller and can print down to 0.05 millimeters or 50 microns. Pretty much it, I think, as far as specifications. There is a lot of upgrades that you can do to it, but really not too many of them are important. As I said, Anthony and I have been printing on this for some time. These are some of the prints that we've got out of it. Uh, we've both printed a wide range of materials, PLA, ABS, PETG, carbon, you name it. Um, we've printed from 0.3 millimeter down to 0.05 millimeter, and we've both been really happy with the results that we get from this printer. Now, in standard form, as I said, there are a few things that really need to be said about it. Uh, besides the fact that it's a brilliant printer, there are some things that I don't like. One of them is this front beam, which to me gets in the way quite often when I'm trying to access the print and the print bed. Uh, I know some people have removed it altogether, cut the piece out. I think that might affect the integrity of the frame a little bit, but it's just a little thing, but it, it irks me a bit. The heated bed, uh, we have the original FT5 machines and the heated bed is, um, well, to put it nicely, useless. Because the bed size is 12 inch by 12 inch, the uh, normal heated bed that came with our machines was way too slow to heat up. It was well over 30 minutes to try and get it just to 80 degrees and I never got mine to 100. I believe that has been addressed in the newer printers. Uh, I hope the newer ones have a bed that works better than ours did. It did not come with a print fan. If you're going to use PLA, you definitely need a print fan. Uh, it's easy to put in. There's plenty on Thingiverse that bolts straight up. Um, but it would have been nice if it came with a print fan as well. There are other things that can be done to this printer to make it even better than it already is. And with Anthony's printer, uh, he has fitted some of those things already. Um, the things that make it really nice are the touchscreen LCD down the front. That's really nice to use. I really like using that. Now this particular machine runs an MKS S-Base board and smoothieware and that seems to run really nicely as well. I really like the smoothieware. But in standard form, with its normal board, it's fine, it, it works well. Mine is all standard and it works really well. As I said, the only thing that I have changed is I've changed the heated bed system. I've put in a silicon heated bed running through a MOSFET and I can heat mine to 80 degrees in just over 90 seconds with that. 
We both have upgraded our extruders. We're both running BPS V3 extruders, um, mainly because we just like those extruders. We, not, we like uh, Bill, the guy that designed them, and uh, we think they run really nicely, but any upgraded extruder will bolt straight up. There's no problem about bolting up uh, flexions, any of those things. They are all nice in their own way, but the standard extruder that comes with it, it works fine. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Just some people have this idea that they have to upgrade it, put on volcanoes and God knows what else. Um, but the standard one is, is cool. As far as using the printer is concerned, uh, I, like I said, improved the heated bed because I print ABS. If you have a look at the frame of this printer, you will notice that it's nice and square and most of everything else is internal to the frame, which makes it really easy to enclose if you want to enclose it, which I have. I've just wrapped mine in a thick plastic sheeting all over very very easy to do i think it took me about half an hour a bit of sticky tape and some plastic and it works really nicely so there are the uh, the add-ons that i've mentioned now this thing runs either directly from your pc or laptop via the uh, usb cable or it has a built-in sd card reader so i run mine through the sd card reader works really nicely now, there is something else quite exciting about this machine and it's in beta testing at the moment. And that is, it also will have a laser engraver and a CNC router attachment. Now, these are being tested at the moment by Dustin Corbin, who you'll see up here. And Dustin's doing a lot of work to get this up and running and that will be available fairly soon, I think. There is another exciting thing about this machine, and that is that we've had discussions with John Folger over a, quite a long period of time, and we are bringing out a the hot end special edition of this machine. It will be available exclusively through our Folger Tech Elite Facebook group, and it will have all of the additions that I have mentioned as standard except for the CNC. I don't think we're having that on there as standard, but it will have the smoothie wear. It'll have the upgraded extruder. Not sure what type yet. It may be 24 volts. We're not too sure on that yet either, uh, but it will be uh, basically everything you could wish for to upgrade on the standard machine will already be on it. Now, price. You can buy one of these machines at a retail price through Folgatech for 499 US dollars as a kit. The kit itself is, we've, we've covered many times with various videos on the assembly process. Very easy to put together, or as far as I'm concerned it was. You need to know a little bit about printers, but generally very easy to put together. The uh, 499 gives you the base grade kit. But if you go to the Folgatech Elite Facebook group, which is the one that Anthony and I run, you will find a discount code where you'll be able to purchase this machine for 474 US dollars. We're aware that there are other discount codes for this machine, but if you use our discount code via the hot end website or the Folgatech Elite Facebook group. Um, you'll get the printer, as I said, for 474, and we get a little bit of a uh, commission on that as well. And that commission goes towards the expenses for our videos that you see here, which believe me are not cheap to produce or to post. Uh, we have lighting cameras um, and not, not to mention the software, microphones, um, the internet connection, all of that stuff costs money and believe me, we're well behind the eight ball. So that little bit of uh, commission helps us greatly. So go out and buy one of these because although this is an unbiased review as all of our reviews are, um, I can only put praise on this machine. This is my go-to machine. I uh, print just about everything on this machine. It's running usually about 12 hours a day 
Uh, it's printing at the moment at my place. We're at Anthony's studio at the moment. Um, I just love it as a, as a printer. It's by far the, the best and easiest printer that I've used of all the ones that I've been involved with. Uh, and I can't speak highly enough of, of this machine. Um, as I said, we do get commissioned through John Folger, but don't for a moment think that that sways our opinion when we do a review. I just love this machine. I wouldn't care if we'd ever got anything out of it. It is a beauty. So, I think I've covered just about everything. As I said, go out and get yourself one. If you need any help with the assembly process or how to use it or, or printing tips, go straight to our Facebook group, that's Folger Tech Elite, uh, and we're there co almost constantly monitoring that group and we'll answer your questions as best we can. We're also in direct contact with John Folger, who as you will see is an admin of the Facebook group, Folger Tech Elite. Uh, and if we don't know the answer, he most certainly will. Alrighty, love this machine, love doing the review on it, love using it. That's all for now and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.